Welcome to a demonstration of digital twins in action. The demo is based on two robotic arms, a conveyor belt, and an AI camera that identifies the colors of cubes so they can be sorted accordingly. The demo runs on the Super Microsys E30212D Edge IoT gateway that has been integrated with the CAR IoT platform. The system uses a 2.7 GHz, 8-core, 16-thread, Intel Xeon D processor and is able to independently handle all the inferencing, data collection, graphical visualization, video capture and command execution you see in the demo. The camera sitting above the conveyor has been trained on a YOLO model to identify the color of the cubes. Once the color is identified, the left robotic arm is directed to pick it up and place it in the appropriate slider row. Meanwhile, at the bottom of the sorting tray are five sensors, one for each row. The sensors at the bottom of the tray are used to identify that a cube is present, which triggers the right arm to pick it up and place it on the conveyor belt. On the user interface, you can see the CAR IoT platform, presenting low-latency real-time digital twins visualization based on live sensor data from the joints of the robotic arms. The essence of digital twins lies in the ability to capture as much data about an object to replicate its behavior over a period of time in a virtual environment. With this data, you can analyze events to determine the conditions that caused a part or component to fail or predict when similar parts or components will break in the future. The more data you collect and analyze, the more accurate your predictions become. You can also simulate a machine's behavior in the future by changing its parameters and observing the behavior under different conditions. This capability is useful for preemptive maintenance and optimizing performance. When dealing with multiple objects, like our two robotic arms, simulating their interactions can ensure smooth operation and improve process efficiency. In our demo, we introduce a golden cube representing an anomaly or defective item. It's a wildcard that doesn't match any other cube color. Upon detection, the system magnifies and examines the cube while activating a red warning light for visual indication. It then hands the cube over to the other arm, which then disposes of it in a designated area. Simultaneously, a secondary camera performs facial recognition, documenting individuals present during the anomaly for security auditing. The facial recognition camera can also be used as a full-time security feature to disable operations based on the presence of unauthorized people. Get started today with Edge IoT solutions from Car IoT and Supermicro.